I'm gonna tell you guys the PhD story time behind this. Um, okay, as a kid, one of my favorite things to do used to be to watch Discovery Channel because they would have these specials on animals, and I was always really, really, really fascinated with with animals and how they did what they did and facts and the stuff they could do and their measurements. I used to really, really really be into that shit, right? Well, back in the day, man, when I was like 11 years old or whatever, like 10 or 11, man, one day my mom had, uh, we, I was, we were living in a hotel at the time, and my mom, she had went off somewhere else. She wasn't fucking home, right? Well, it was a fucking hotel room. And as you guys already well know, hotel rooms are like fucking small, you know? Fucking small as shit. You know, it's basically one fucking room with like two beds in it and two televisions, right? One of the televisions, I'm watching fucking Discovery Channel. They had a special one, squids. Giant motherfucking squids, right? Giant motherfucking squids. Now, I'm watching this fucking special, man. I've got all the fucking lights off in the goddamn room, you know, and out of nowhere, they decide to give you the closest thing to a realistic sizing of what a giant squid would fucking look like. Unbeknownst to me, of course. So I'm watching this shit, and there's a big ass fucking big screen television, goddammit. A fucking big screen, right? Like 60 inch, which was really big back in the day, right? So I'm watching this shit, man. No bullshit. And this shit freaked me out so bad as to where it's, I developed a, a, a deep water aquaphobia. What happened was, I'm watching the goddamn screen, dude, and they put the camera under fucking water, right? Under fucking water. Now, and all you see is the texture of the fucking water go from dark blue to fucking dark gray. And then you notice that the motherfucking screen looks like it's fucking texture going past the fucking camera, right? Texture, 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 texture. And out of fucking nowhere, this big ass fucking eye goes going past the fucking screen and I felt as if that fucking eye was staring directly into the deepest parts of my fucking soul. I was scared shitless <laughs> after that shit, right? So, needless to say, after that, I, I developed the agoraphobia. Also, when I was younger, I was, um, I was way younger. This was way, way younger, man. I was like six or seven. I was living with a foster family at the time. I'll probably tell like, because <clears throat> I used to live with foster families when I was younger. So I tell like BHD story times on that shit too. I have a lot of fucking BHD story times. Um, living with a fucking foster family. And uh, we went on a cruise. We went on a fucking cruise out into the middle of the motherfucking ocean. I did some stupid shit. Now, like I said, I was six. Luckily enough for me, the shit was traumatizing enough as where I remembered the shit, right? But I don't remember everything. I remember the foster lady's name was Miss Pryor. I don't give a fuck about the lady. I don't give a fuck about her name because she was a horrible person. So I don't give that shit. I don't give a fuck. And this lady was evil. Evil as fuck. I'm talking to this little woman had so many fucking potholes in her face. The bitch looked like the Wicked Witch of the fucking West Side because we was on the West Side. <laughs> but the bitch looked like the Wicked Witch. Like she's a big ass fucking wart on her nose. Wicked witch. No bullshit. Fucking gray, brown hair. It's creepy looking shit, right? So, uh, we're on a fucking cruise ship, man, and I'm six. I'm hyperactive, as I still am. I did some dumb shit, and I fell off the back. The part with no fucking, with very low handle, edge bars or whatever. Fell right off that bitch. Into the goddamn open sea. Now, they got my ass out. I don't even particularly remember how they got my ass out, but they did. My bitch ass fell in there, but I was in there long enough to look down into the fucking water and all I saw, blue emptiness, freaked me the fuck out. And then when I saw that boy, and then when I was up in the fucking dark ass hotel room, happened to look at the fucking screen, with the fucking huge giant squid eye passed by the goddamn screen, fucked me up for life. Now I can go swimming in deep water. Mm, okay, I'm lying. Yeah, like what, uh, 10, 15 feet? I'm good. Put me in a big-ass pool. I'm good. I shower regularly, right? But I have such an active imagination. <laughs> it's gift and a curse. 
such an active imagination. You put me in deep enough, you put me in like some settings like this, and my mind just starts fucking, it makes everything fucking realistic. No bullshit. I'm playing this bullshit right now. In my mind, I, I, I can, no bullshit. I see everything around me water. The entire fucking room fills up, full of fucking water, and I start to feel like I'm in the middle of motherfucking sea, and it scares the fuck out of me. No bullshit. That's why I freak out so bad at this bullshit. I legitimately see in my mind everything a fucking around me is is surrounded by fucking water. No bullshit. And I feel like I'm 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 in in the deepest part of the moistification with with the uh with the shit. I feel like I'm in the game. So it freaks me the fuck out.